Okay, okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound, she, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. <laughs>